Hello and welcome back. Let's find the domain of a composition. We are given find the domain of f of g of x for the functions given by f of x is equal to x squared minus 9 and g of x is equal to the square root of 9 minus x squared. Well, let's find the domain for each function. Since this is a polynomial and we know the domain for all polynomials is all real numbers that means the domain for f of x is equal to this, which we can also write like this, double bar r. But what about for this square root function? Well, we need the domain as the set of all real numbers such that we have non-negative numbers under the square root, which is to say we need for this to be true minus 9 on both sides. Negative x squared is greater than or equal to negative 9. If we divide, divide both sides by negative 1, that means we have x squared is less than or equal to 9, which is to say that we need all x values such that when we square them, we get at most 9. Well, that means that x needs to be some number between negative 3 and 3. Okay, so since the domain for, oops, the domain for g is negative 3 to 3, now we just need to find out what the domain is of the composition of f of g. Well, what is f of g? f of g means f of g of x, which means f of g is going everywhere that we have x, so f of the square root of 9 minus x squared, which is the square root of 9 minus x squared, quantity squared, minus 9. Further simplify that as 9 minus x squared minus 9, which is minus x squared. Now let's be careful here because even though this is a polynomial, the domain is not all real numbers. Why not? Because the domain that we substituted here was not all real numbers. It was this. So it means the domain for f of g, let's write that down. The domain for f of g is a set of all real numbers from negative 3 to 3. And we're done.